Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic time and for this particular lesson, I'll be covering something on travel timetables. So you want to see what a travel timetable is and how it works and how you can be uh, able to interpret it. So we have a few questions on a travel timetable to help us with illustrations on how we interpret travel timetables or how we use them. And of course, at the end of this lesson, we will be giving you some assignment just to help you practice on what we are going to recover during this lesson. So what does it mean when you talk about a travel timetable? So travel timetables, they basically show the expected arrival and uh, expected departure times. For vehicles, they could be public vehicles, they could be ships, aeroplanes, and also trains. One would be interested in getting to know at what time will the aeroplane be leaving, at what time will it be arriving at the destination. Basically, for planning purposes, you need to you need to be aware of you know what time you are arriving at the airport you know and what time are you leaving you know so you 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 would really be interested in getting to know the times you know basically that you you'll be able to to plan your time well so this is how it looks you can see a uh, station a see that could be a bus a bus stop or a bus station so this is the departure time. No. So moving from A to B. So at A you would be if you had to move from a journey that is starting from A, let's say to, to D. So it could be uh, a bus traveling from town A to town D via B and C. So it would move from A to B stops for a while, continues with the journey. To C stops for a while, continues with the journey to D. You see. So this is a journey that is starting from A and from town A to town D. Town D is the final destination. The journey starts at A. So you'd want to know where uh, at what time is this vehicle leaving town A and at what time will it be arriving at town D? Of course, it's supposed to pass through. B and C. So via B and C. So let's see how we interpret this. So we have uh, how long does it take to travel from A to D? So you are more interested in departure time at A and arrival time at D, basically the time difference. So I have. Uh, this so this is uh, a and this is d so so the departure time is this column here and you can see it this is the departure time so at a we have the departure time as 8:20 a.m. So 8, 20 a.m. Remember, this a.m. means first half of the day. Remember, uh, in the this, these times are given in the 12-hour system. So we did a video on the difference between 12-hour system and the 24-hour system. And uh, if possibly you, you missed out on that, you can possibly check our previous videos on that to help you with interpretation on how this is done. So this is 12 hour system and the 12 hour system time is divided into in, I mean a day is divided into into two. So we have the first half of the day starting from midnight to noon and the other half of the day starting from noon to the, the next midnight. 
So when it's written as 8.20 a.m., this means 8 hours and 20 minutes from the time when the first half of the day started, that is from midnight. So this time has been taken, I mean, this, has time, this time has taken 8 hours and 20 minutes from previous midnight to this point here. This is when the journey is starting. You know. So at D, the arrival time is 400 p.m. So again, this is in the second half of the day, which started from noon, and now it's four hours. You know, noon could be somewhere here. So that's zero zero. Or let me write it as this is noon time. So what happens is, if you want to know how much time this journey took. You get to know what this time is, and then you find out what this other time is. So from noon to 4 p.m., this is about four hours. And again, uh, from 8.20 to noon, you know, from midnight, this is midnight. From midnight to noon is 12 hours, and from midnight to this is 8 hours. So what's the difference? We simply subtract. So we simply do 12 hours, you subtract 8 hours, 20 minutes. What do you get here? This is going to be, so this is, you have to borrow one hour from the 12 hours here. It comes to this other side as minutes, 60 minutes, you subtract 20, you have 40 minutes. And then now we have 11 because we have borrowed one. So 11 minus 8, that is 3 hours. So 3 hours and 40 minutes, you add to the 4 hours. So this, is, this journey took 3 hours, 40 minutes, plus 4 hours. You know, this 4 hours from noon. So this is going to be 7 hours and, and 40 minutes. So the whole journey from uh, from A to D took 7 hours, 40 minutes. Now, the same approach can be used here. So how long does the minibus take to travel from town X to town Y? So X to Y, see, that's just the two. So you do the same thing. This is X and this is Y. At X, the departure time. So these times are given in 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 twenty four hour system. And now in the in the twenty four hour system, these times are 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 given as number of hours from the midnight. Remember now, in the twenty four hour system, a day is treated as one. You know, one whole day. So the times indicated represents how many hours from the previous midnight. So time is read from midnight to midnight. Not like in the 12 hour system where you are reading it from midnight to midday. Again, you start from midday to midnight. Now this basically represents the number of hours from the previous midnight. So this is the departure time at X is 0.830. So 0830 here simply means number of hours from midnight, which is 8 hours and 30 minutes. So hours. This edge here stands for hours. Then we are keen on the first station, we are keen on the departure time. The last station we want to know at what time is it arriving. So this is 11, 15 hours. So this means 11 hours and 50 minutes from where? From midnight. So midnight is on this other side. So this is 8. And from midnight to the other one is 11. So you simply subtract the two to get the difference, to get the difference here. So you subtract midnight to, to 11, 15 hours. 
that is 11 hours 15 minutes midnight to this is 8 hours so you just subtract see the whole blue and then you subtract the red yes so that is 11 so we have 11 15 and then we are subtracting 8 8 30 so what you do 15 minutes you cannot subtract 30 so you have to borrow one hour from this side you add to 15 that will be 75 hours so 75 you subtract 30 hours will be 45 minutes i mean uh you borrow one hour from 11 hours you take it to the other side as minutes so it becomes 60 minutes so 60 plus 15 become 75 minutes and 75 minutes you subtract 30 minutes you have 45 minutes this is no longer 11 because we had borrowed one from this other side so it, it's now 10 and 10 minus 8 is 2 so this is 2 hours and 45 45 minutes so this journey from x to y took 2 hours and 45 minutes so that is a so b how long does the minibus take at town y so again town y you simply know it arrived at town y 11 you know reaching town y is 11 15 and left at 11 30. so the approach is the same uh arrival so we are keen on arrival and departure in this case so this is arrival and this is departure so arriving is 11 15 and departure is 11 30. so you can see the time difference is about 15 minutes you simply do 11 30 minus 11 15 so you can see these are going to be 15 minutes so it's that simple the final one is this whereby now you need to incorporate speed you know what is the average speed so for you to get the average speed formula is speed here so you have speed v So we have speed is equals to distance traveled over time taken. So the timetable, the, the travel timetable here will simply help us with time taken. Distance is already given here as 300 kilometers. So we'll need to just get the time taken between M and Q in hours to substitute into the formula to help us find the average speed so let's get the time so the approach is the same i have m and i have q so i am keen on the departure time the first uh, point where we are starting we are only keen on the departure time the second point where we are arriving we are only keen on the arrival time then we'll be able to get to know the time taken Good enough the times are given in 24 hour system it is easier when the time is given in 24 hour system because you simply need to subtract the two to get the time difference that is arrival time minus the departure time at the previous station so m m is here at what time is it leaving m so 0830 so 0830 and then departure time at q is 15 10. So Q is here. So that is 15, 10. So you simply do the difference between these two. So time taken. So time taken equals to 15, 10. You subtract 830. So 0, 830. Remember, this time simply means 
how much time it has taken from the previous midnight to this m is eight hours from previous midnight to q is 15 so you simply to get the difference to get the time between m and q you simply subtract so this is the difference between now again you can subtract 30 minutes from 10 minutes so you borrow one hour from 15 hours to 10 minutes you'll be taking that one hour to 10 minutes as 60 minutes so 60 minutes plus 10 minutes is 70 minutes 70 minutes minus 30 minutes that is 40 minutes and now 15 you have borrowed one from 15 so it's no longer 15 now it's 14 14 minus 8 is 6 so this will be 6 hours so 6 hours and 40 minutes 6 hours and 40 minutes so you need to get the time in hours it's equals to 6 and 40 over over 60 for you to change the minutes to hours you divide by by 60 so this is going to be uh, 6 and 2 over 3 so speed in uh, kilometers per hour will be equal to distance which is 300 divided by 6 and 2 over 3 So what is that? So maybe this is going to be three hundred. You divide by so this is eighteen twenty. So you change this to improper fraction, which is three by six is eighteen plus two is twenty over three. We've done a video on changing the improper the mixed numbers to improper fractions, so you can possibly check 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 out on that. So even division of numbers, fractions, a whole number and a fraction. We have also done a video on that. You can check, but simply this changes to multiplication, and then you have now three over three over twenty. So this cancels that. Then we have speed as so two here one two there fifteen fifteen by three is forty five kilometers per hour so we have assignment to help us with practice and just to help check whether you really understood what we were doing otherwise that is all for the lesson till next time